Hey everyone, welcome to Win the Day, 5 Minutes in the Bible with me, your coach, Pastor Nat. Our mission here at Back to the Bible is to move you closer to Jesus today than yesterday. And to help you do that, we are going to talk about the benefit of having a coach. Everyone needs a coach. Do you believe that? Well, I hope so because it's true. Think about this. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, had a coach. He had a coach to make him better. Tom Brady, he has a coach to make him better. Timothy in the Bible, he had a coach. Elon Musk, did you know that he has a coach today? I actually have multiple coaches who help me do what I do better. You see, we all need a coach. The Apostle Paul, he believed in this as well. Don't believe me? Let's turn back to Philippians chapter 3, beginning in verse 17. Dear brothers and sisters, pattern your lives after mine and learn from those who follow our example. There you have it. You need a coach. Well, what's the context here? Well, Paul has been encouraging believers to focus on becoming like Christ. Now, we know we'll never hit that mark until we are resurrected. But our daily lives can become better when we pursue a life of spiritual fitness, that process of becoming like Christ. Then, then Paul says, that's what I am doing. Look at me. Do what I do. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, eh, that's a little bit arrogant, Paul. I mean, Christ said, follow me. He didn't say, follow Paul. Paul, who are you? Well, Paul is not trying to be pretentious or put himself on a pedestal. No, he's not doing that at all. He is simply saying, look at me. I'm a sinner saved by grace, trying to follow Jesus. Join me in the journey. Follow me. Follow my example. You see, Paul knew he was nothing. He knew he was nothing special. He has already dismantled that earlier in this letter. Instead, he fully recognizes he needs God's grace daily. That's why in 1 Timothy 1, he called himself the chief of sinners. Paul says, don't just look at me. Look at or learn from those who follow our example. He's referring to Timothy and Epaphroditus and the elders of the Philippian church. When he says learn, I don't think that's the best translation. It's really to fix your gaze on or to concentrate on their example. In the medical field, there are these three stages to becoming a successful doctor. You see, first you have to see it, second you have to do it, and third you need to teach it. That's the discipleship paradigm. We are to focus on this example. We are to model it and then teach it to the next person. Do you know what this creates? It creates multiplication in discipleship. This is the model that Paul advocates and demonstrates in building the church. Now, I think there are three different types of coaches. Distant, near, and intimate. Distant coaches are the authors, the radio teachers, or the individuals who impact you from afar, but they don't really know you. Then we have near coaches. Near coaches are the ones like a pastor, a facilitator, or individuals who know and influence you. But they don't necessarily live life on life with you. They know you. They know who you are, but there's a limit in the relationship. Last are the intimate coaches. They are those who are there with you every day. They help create a custom roadmap for your success. They are there with you when you need them. Now, I'm convinced people need all three kinds of coaches. We offer all three here at Back to the Bible to help you pursue spiritual fitness. So here's my challenge for you today. Identify where is it that you are deficient in your coaching. Do you need that intimate coach? Get one. Do you need just that facilitator, that one to kind of help you as a group? Great, go there. 
but I want you to identify what kind of coach you need and then find one. You can even find them here in Go Tandem or here at Back to the Bible. But then I want you to do something else. I want you to offer your coaching to someone in your sphere of influence. Everyone needs a coach, and I'm convinced everyone can be a coach. All you need to do is be available. Coaching really is for everyone. So be coached, and be a coach today. When we see it, do it, and teach it, we will win the day.